Hi, I'm Duncan, the technical trainer here at Enphase, and I'm here today to show you the Communications Kit 2, or in other words, the CK2. This is a device that gives you more ways to install Enphase IQ batteries. Whether you're installing IQ batteries onto a new Enphase microinverter system, retrofitting an IQ battery onto an existing Enphase microinverter site, or onto a third-party grid-connected site, the CK2 allows you to maximize the customer's solar self-consumption. Now for customers that want to maximize self-consumption of their solar energy with battery storage, but they don't require backup functionality, for example, if they live in metro areas not prone to blackout, a CK2 device like this one here is simply installed with the Enphase IQ gateway to communicate to the IQ batteries. If the site requires whole home or partial backup functionality, then the IQ system controller is instead required. Now let's take a look into the CK2 technical overview. The CK2 enables IQ gateways to directly communicate to IQ batteries, and they include a five-year warranty. Here is the LED that will show green when the communications is operational. These are the headers where the control wiring connects. Each header can be removed for ease of wiring. You can mount this in an AC solar subboard using these DIN rail fittings. The CK2 is also supplied with a pair of Type-C to type A USB cables. Plugging these cables together will give you 400 mm total USB wiring length. This cabling plugs from the CK2 USB port into the front USB of an IQ gateway. As the USB cable carries both power and communications, these should not be extended. The CK2 is connected to IQ batteries using two pair shielded control wiring as recommended by Enphase. Connect the control wiring into this header port. The adjacent port will have a resistor plugged in. You will always need one resistor plugged in at the first device and one resistor at the last device in the control wiring circuit. The communication control wiring has a maximum communication distance of up to 100 meters. An IQ gateway communicates to each IQ battery via the communications control cabling. And if there are microinverters installed at the solar panels, the IQ gateway communicates to these using power line communications. This runs across the AC wiring of the microinverter circuits. Now let's go through components required for installation using IQ Battery 5P for grid tied installations. You will get the battery performance of 3.84 kVA continuous from each IQ battery, and they'll also deliver 200% three second peak output. Systems also require an IQ gateway to be installed with current transformers. One of the CTs measure AC current of the solar arrays and the other CT will be installed in the line side of the main switchboard in the home. An Enphase IQ relay is also required to be included on each grid-tied IQ battery circuit. This equipment is typically installed into an AC solar subboard as shown here. Grid-tied IQ batteries can be installed onto one, two and three phase sites. Each of the IQ batteries will be wired onto a dedicated circuit into the solar subboard. Here is a single phase installation, and as the IQ battery has a continuous output current of 16.7 amps, it will be installed within the 20 amp AC circuit. And for compliance to ASNZS4777, a single phase 20 amp IQ relay must also be wired in series into the circuit. IQ relays are double pole and switch both the active and neutral conductor of the AC circuit. The AC cable sizing for the IQ battery will be selected according to the distance and location it is placed. Use a voltage drop calculator to determine the correct cable sizing. As the grid-tied solar installation has microinverters, a 20 amp single phase IQ relay will also be installed in the microinverter circuit. The CK2 is mounted into the solar subboard. The USB cable is plugged into the IQ gateway and the control cable is wired between the CK2 and the IQ battery. It will also have the drain wire grounded at one end of this cable. For a second IQ battery, a second 20 amp single phase IQ relay will also be installed into the second dedicated IQ battery circuit. And the control cabling is wired between each IQ battery and across to the CK2. Each control cable section has a drain wire grounded at a single end. The supplied resistors will be placed at the beginning and also at the end of the control wiring at each of the respective header ports. This example highlights two IQ battery circuits and two IQ microinverter circuits. 
Grid tied IQ batteries with third party string inverter, a single phase example. This site has a string inverter and end phase IQ batteries are installed. The IQ gateway and CK2 are fitted into the solar subboard. Within the solar subboard, you'll also place one AC circuit for each IQ battery. Each circuit will also include the single phase IQ relay for grid protection. If a string inverter is already installed on the property, the AC supply to the inverter can be left in the original location, and a solar production CT will be fitted around the active conductor. This CT will measure current generated by the string inverter from the solar panels. I do not recommend moving the string inverter AC cable into the solar subboard, as this can cause communications interference with power line. This example also shows a ferrite core fitted over the AC submains at the solar subboard. This can be good practice to fit this here as this will protect AC power line signal. A consumption CT will also be connected around the active conductor at the line side of the main switchboard. Also note the direction arrows for each CT must follow the direction of current flow along the AC cabling. In three phase sites, each three phase IQ battery circuit will include one 25 amp three phase IQ relay. This can allow up to one IQ battery 5P per phase. In other words, a maximum of three IQ batteries per three phase circuit. IQ relays in three phase applications. Note that the neutrals for each IQ battery will be combined and a single cable then brought into the IQ relay as this terminal is six millimeters squared. On three phase sites, there will be three CTs around each of the solar production phases on L1, L2 and L3. In addition, there will be CTs around each of the consumption phases. These should be installed line side of the main switchboard. CT wiring can be extended using twisted pair 1.5mm squared conductor up to 75m in wiring length. You can commission a CK2 via the installer app. The Enphase installer app allows you to add IQ batteries to any new or existing site with microinverters or also into grid-tied string inverter systems. System owners can monitor energy consumption and production in real time using the intuitive Enphase app. They can gain comprehensive insights into their solar system's performance, allowing them to optimize energy usage and savings. Grid-tied IQ batteries can be set for self-consumption, so they can charge from excess solar, and also to maximize the savings based on the cost of electricity for the homes with time of use tariffs. If the home has very low electricity prices, such as off-peak rate, overnight, the IQ batteries can also be set to charge from the grid.